Today, I'm making a half dozen or six easy cheesy buttermilk biscuits. These gems will cook for about 10 to 12 minutes in a preheated 425 degrees Fahrenheit oven when the biscuit bottoms turn a crispy dark brown. Gather together the following ingredients. A half cup of cheddar cheese cut into small squares. Two tablespoons of melted butter. One and one half cups of all-purpose flour. One tablespoon of sugar. A quarter teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of cream of tartar. A half teaspoon of baking soda. Two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of shortening and a half cup of buttermilk. I used powdered buttermilk and followed the directions on the package by adding the measured buttermilk into a half cup of water. I whisked the buttermilk well before adding it to the dry ingredients. As a side note, cream of tartar is a leavening agent that is a byproduct of fermenting grapes into wine. I wanted to look this up because I never knew what its purpose was for in baking. With a fork, mix the dry ingredients Take your time to be sure that you break down the shortening well into the dry ingredients. Then, add the buttermilk. When mixing the dough, it will be very sticky. Be gentle with your mixing as you want the dough to be light and fluffy. If you need to add a little flour, do so in small amounts. You do not want a tough biscuit. Now, flour your working surface and gently place the dough there. I am patting and shaping the dough. I am not kneading it. I then shape the dough to about an inch in height. I take my medium-sized biscuit cutter and position it over the dough to visualize three biscuits. I cut out the biscuits and place each on a baking sheet that I have lined with parchment paper. You can just place the biscuits onto an ungreased baking sheet, but as you will see, I prefer parchment paper because when I apply melted butter to the biscuits, the sheet will be much easier to wash when I am done baking. Once the first three are cut, I gently rework the dough and cut the last three biscuits. Do not be afraid to flour your fingertips so you can shape the biscuits without getting too much dough stuck to your fingers. Now, we are ready to coat the biscuits with the melted butter. Again, be gentle when coating the biscuits. I am gently shaping the biscuits to get them ready for the cheddar cheese squares. I will place the cheese squares into each biscuit, then make sure that the cheese is encased into the biscuit dough. I can see already that the baking soda and cream of tartar are doing their jobs. The biscuits are rising. These are going to be so tasty. I can tell by the appearance of the biscuits with their little packages of cheesy goodness. One by one, gently as you go. A little flour on my fingers makes a final check of the cheese squares an easy task. Here comes the melted butter over each cheesy biscuit. I know that the cheese will help to puff up the biscuits as they bake in the oven. Be generous with the melted butter and be sure it covers, entirely, the tops of the biscuits. Now, the biscuits are ready for the hot oven. I can hardly wait to enjoy them. I will go and grab my cup of coffee and peek through the oven window after about 8 minutes of baking to see how it is going. The biscuits are done! Out of the oven and onto my counter, where I have placed a hot pad covered by a kitchen towel. I remove the biscuits one by one onto the cooling rack. Just look at that cheese. I check the bottoms and see they are just as I like them, brown enough to add a crispy texture to the biscuits. These were done by 12 minutes, but if you want a less dark bottom, I suggest 10 minutes. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.